Yo, who's better? LeBron or Who y'all talking to? Man? Yo, who's better? LeBron or Jordan? Michael. <laughs> and why? I, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm biased, obviously, because I played against Michael, and uh, Michael is just one of those type of players that comes along once in a lifetime. Michael, you can never get to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mentally, you can never get to him. And believe me, I tried. You know what I mean? You I didn't got to a lot of- Your mama's a bitch. <laughs> <You ever him? laughs> no, I never did that. <laughs> no, but uh, no, you just, you know, you can never break his will. You know what I mean? You can never get inside his head. And, uh, you know, with LeBron, I can see that a little bit. You know what I mean? You can get inside his head. Uh, he's getting better. You know what I mean? Early on, you probably could say that a lot, but you can see as he matured, you know, he's getting better at that. But Michael, you can never break him. And mm -hmm. I think every player that played against him would tell you the same thing. And he made the game look so easy. Yeah, he did. Easy, I mean, like uncomplicated. You know what I mean? He didn't have to take the ball between his legs two or three times to get his shot <laughs> off. He just get to points on the court and he just knocked down shots. You know, he was just one of those clutch. He's probably, to me, I think he's the best clutch player ever. Word. You know what I mean? You never see him ever, the majority of the time, miss game winning shots. When he had to make a bucket, you knew that he was gonna make that bucket. You know what I'm saying? I was arguing with this rapper uh, named D Shep. I was I was telling him, yo, the difference between Michael Jordan and LeBron James, if LeBron James ain't winning, he'll quit <laughs> right in the game. Yeah. Do you agree or disagree? I ain't gonna say he gonna quit, but I don't see that what Michael do. Michael gonna fight you to the end. He gonna fight to the end. Yeah, he's gonna fight you to the end. He was fight. sick one time, he had the flu. Yeah. My man tried to tell me uh, uh, Michael Jordan was not sick for real. Nah, he, he was, was doing sick. that as a publicity nah, stunt. He was sick. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was sick. I just I know some of the players that they uh, got sick after that, right? Like nah, they nah, was leaving nah, him on. <laughs> 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 they were like, "Yo, this nigga got me <laughs> sick." I <laughs> nah, he, he definitely was sick. Yeah. Word. Yeah. So that was real. Yeah, that was real talk. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> this shit, John Stark said. That shit. What you gonna say? Now? <laughs> Who was the most? Competitive team you ever played against, man? Was it the Pacers, the Heat? Or? Man, we had so many back then. You know what I mean? Obviously, Chicago, Indiana, definitely, because the way they played, it was similar to our style. They had, you know, inside out game the same way we played. And, you know, we used to hate that. You know what I mean? You hate to play against a team that's similar to you. Uh, but, you know, I would say Chicago was probably one of the most competitive uh, teams that we played against. Word. Yo, so, man, being that you uh, now work inside of the office and everything, what exactly is your occupation and what, what do you do there in the next well, office? My, my role is uh, I'm alumni relations, and so I'm kind of like the face of the organization in the community. So I do a lot of community events. I do a lot of uh, going to school, speaking to kids. Uh, I deal with a lot of our sponsors. Uh, I do a lot of in-game uh, appearances uh, for the organization. and so. Uh, pretty much everything, you know what I mean? I try to keep our alumni involved in what we do as an organization. That's How hard is it important. to get them back together to, you know what I'm saying, it's, do that thing? Is it a chore? No, it's not a chore. You know, what's the, the old saying? Once a Nick, always a Nick. Mm -hmm. And these guys understand, you know, playing for New York can lead to other opportunities for you out, outside, of, uh, outside of the court. And so uh, a lot of these guys, um, you know, want to come back and, and be uh, a part of what we're doing as an organization. And so that's always a good thing. And uh, New York, I think, probably more so than any other team, do a good job of keeping their former players involved because the fans love the past, mm. you know what I mean, as well as they love the future, but they really love the past. So they love seeing their, their former players uh, come back and, and, you know, make an appearance. Tell us about the charity, man. Well, my foundation, we uh, give our scholarship to high school uh, students that's graduating from high school to give them opportunity to uh, go to school and, and further their, their dreams and their education. And so uh, I started back in 1994, 95, uh, and to really, you know, make a difference in, in these youth lives and, and give them the same chance that I, that I had, you know, coming out of, coming out of school. So um, we've been very fortunate enough that uh, it's been going very strong for the last uh, 20 some years now. Uh, I didn't see you know, other athletes foundation come and go, but this one's been, been really doing some terrific work. And uh, we're excited about the number of uh, uh, young people that we didn't help over the years. And 
you know, it's always great to see them come back and say thank you, you know, for the opportunity. And, and that's the most important thing. You know, we don't look for nothing for that. You know what I mean? We just want to say, you know what, here go the tool. Now you run with it. And so you give the kids the tools that they can work with, then they make the most of it. Mm. We didn't have kids going to be lawyers. We didn't have kids going uh, to be uh, doctors. We didn't have kids going to work in the financial uh, arena. Uh, you know, uh, it's just so many of them. Word, word. Now you you got your own cigar lounge. Yeah. Now I, I'm always I used to hear about Jordan all the time smoking in cigar lounges. You could, you can see him in one. Yeah. You know, if you go to Chicago here and there, w what is it up with NBA players mm -hmm. and cigar lounges? Why is it synonymous? Well, I, I think you know cigars are a very relaxing first and foremost. Uh, you know, uh, I really kind of like tail end of my career. You know, in 2000, I actually I started smoking cigars uh, when I was on a golf course. And a guy gave me the cigar and told me, because I was so hyped, you know what I mean? In golf, you can't be that way on the golf course. And he said, why don't you smoke a cigar and chill out? I'm like, man, I want to smoke a cigar. So I smoked it anyway, and I just like completely relaxed, you know what I mean? So, hey, hold on, at what point yeah. do you say, I uh, man, I don't want to smoke a cigar. Man, give me the goddamn cigar. <laughs> <laughs> what what when, was that point? Uh, How did he convince when, you? When you hit a driver far right, <laughs> that, that'll do it. I mean, uh, when you throwing clubs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that'll do it. You know, so. Here you, you go, know. John. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take this. No, it's, 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 it's just a relaxation. You know what I mean? Some, you know, sometimes you just need, you know, time away. You know from everything and, and cigar gives you that you know you get a chance to just sit down and and just relax and you know what it does for me you give me a chance to meet a lot of people you know what i mean because you know you have a lot of influential people who smoke cigars and you have you know people that are just down to earth you know what i'm saying that you can sit down and and for over a good cigar you learn about that individual you know what i mean just like golf you know what i mean you play golf with somebody for four hours, you learn about that individual. Same thing with cigars. You sit down, you know, smoke a cigar, it may take two or three hours, and you get to know that individual. Mm -hmm. and so uh, it gives me that opportunity to, to do that. And, you know, and you just need a break from life sometimes. You sure. know what I mean? Because we live a stressful life, as you know. And sometimes you just need to just take it easy. You don't need to do crack. <laughs> you don't need to do it. Do a cigar. Do a cigar. <laughs> It's like crack, but it's not. <laughs> no. You get just as addicted, but you won't get fired. <laughs> Let's fire one more time. And what you think about that commercial? Nah, it, it, no, I don't do know that. if that would have worked. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, you see him trying to get a I job see, over I here. See, see. Hey, don't do crack. Get a cigar. <laughs> fire up the cigar, <laughs> not the pipe. Come on, baby. There you go. <laughs> and let me know if you want me to do this. I got you. I got you. And this is the face I'm going to do, too. <laughs> <laughs> word, uh, word. Now, yeah. let me, you got to feel me in, because I always want to go where the ladies at, man. Mm -hmm. Do ladies smoke cigars? Ladies smoke cigars. Do Be surprised. Bad bitches smoke cigars. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Robin Gibbons fine. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Beyonce. Do, it, it, them type of chick. Right. You'd be surprised. You know, ladies really enjoy cigars. You right. know what I mean? They really enjoy cigars, and uh, and that's that's good. You know what I mean? Because now now, if you especially if you married like I am, you know your wife don't mind. <laughs> you put that you out there cigar. too. You know what I'm saying? Now, if people want to find out where they can get these clothes at, man, what what, what you do go they to, go to uh, zipawaybrand.com, and uh, you can see all the stores that we are uh, selling through. Uh, we're excited about the future of this brand. Uh, you know, we're getting some incredible uh, hits, uh, you know, from uh, big time major department stores. And that's the most important thing. Word, word, word. Now, Cigar Lounge. Cigar Lounge. You can go to uh, legendcigars.com or Stanford Cigar Lounge is the name of the, the, the Cigar Lounge. Stanford, uh, Stanford Cigar Lounge. You can go to that or you can want to get my uh, cigars online. It's called Legend uh, Cigar. You got your own cigar? I got my own cigar, yeah. What's it called? Legendcigars.com, series, John Stark series number three. Word, word. Now, you've been famous for a long time. Who was the, most, the per person that you, you met that you actually got starstruck over? Probably Dr. J. For real? Yeah. You I'm, a real basketball nerd. Hey, let me tell you something. Dr. J was, you know, the guy growing up, you know, when wow. I was growing up. And, uh, you know, I didn't met a lot of famous people, but, you know, he's just a class act. 
You know what I'm saying? He's just one of those guys that you love being around, you know what I mean, because of what he meant to the game, you know, at that particular time and, and just how he carried himself. So you you put Michael Jackson next to Dr. J. Who you would have wanted to meet more between Michael Jackson and Dr. J? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to meet Michael. You know what I mean? I, I, I'd love to meet Michael. I, I never got a chance to meet him. I met Janet, but I, I never got a chance to meet Michael Jackson. Not Did you get a chance to meet Janet when she was fine? <laughs> what you mean? She's still not fine? No, she all right. She, yeah, she, she cool right. now. She ain't 2015 <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah. But no, she's still Janet. I, know, I met her back back in the day. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, when yeah, doing yeah. control. In control, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Word. That was, <laughs> huh, she was Beyonce then. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh. Pretty woman. Word, word, word. Did you ever have a celebrity crush? Uh, Jane Kennedy. You know, girl. Wow. Back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Jane. You Remember are Jane a Kennedy? throwback yeah, the, uh, nigga throwback. for real. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready for you. <laughs> you weren't ready for Jane Kennedy. No, man. That, that's, yeah. My daddy would have said that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I grew up, man. That's what I grew up. Word. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is like saying Pam Grill or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, Pam Grill. Yeah. <laughs> all the girls that had sideburns on their pussy. You so, <laughs> were. Oh, oh, I've got one more question. Okay. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? John Stark's My Life. And who would you get to play you? Me. You? I would play oh, even life. the younger you? Even the younger me. I can pass from the younger me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You probably got, you probably got Drake to be the younger you. That's true. Yeah. And then he'd be, you, he'd have wrote something in where he'd be singing and stuff too. <laughs> Do you have any other hidden talents like that? No, I can't. I cannot sing. But you can yeah, dunk I can play on some golf. Like... I can do all that, but I can't. I can't sing. Word. No. Can you still dunk these days? No. No. no it's no. different now. Some donuts, but that's about it. <laughs> I didn't even ask you, man. Rapping, rap music, man. What it, what kind of rap music do you listen to, or do you still listen to that? I, I don't listen to a lot of rap. You know, I'm back in the Biggie days, Tupac mm -hmm. days. Did you ever get a chance to meet either one of them? I never met Biggie. I never met Tupac. Damn, you know, I never got a chance to meet those guys. You ain't never heard about it. Hey, they was at your game before. Uh, they probably been at the game. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But I, I never got a chance to meet those guys. There was a story going out that Biggie had a song out. It was about me, mm -hmm. and I had to clear that up. Do you get tired of people asking you if that Biggie Small song was about you? That notorious yeah, B.I.G. song. Yeah, about that. That, 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 that wasn't me. First I mean, look, Dan, not, Dan, look, first look, look Biggie foremost, wants to hit on Dan's I, girlfriend. Yeah, first and foremost. That that was, that, me. Hold on, who? I, I heard that was about you too. No, it wasn't about me. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, it wasn't about Don't, me. Like he broke in one of them Knicks players' house. Yeah, and, and exactly. He, yeah, he exactly. was hitting the girl. You know what I'm talking about? I heard that was you, dog. No, that wasn't me. They say it was a six-five guy. You know what I mean? I'm six-two. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's funny that you even said that, yeah. man. Yeah. So he, it's um, the story is about you know what I'm saying he's pretty much dating a chick that's married to one of the uh, Knicks players, right? And I, I heard it was John Starr. Yeah, it wasn't me, bro. And then I, another. Oh, you gonna see who else I heard for? Uh, who, who, is she on Basketball Wives too? We interviewed her before. Th that wasn't you, though. No, it wasn't me. No. It wasn't you. No. You ain't have no money in the flow or nothing no, like that. No, no, no. I keep my money in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. Yeah. Okay, man. Yo, like yeah. I said before, man, this was a dope interview, man. <laughs> is there anything you want to tell this is fifty dot com before we get out of here, sir? No, I just want to say thank you. You know what I mean for what you do and and uh, you know for giving guys like me opportunity to, uh, you know, talk a little bit about my life and, you know, businesses and things like that. You know, we need more of that, you know, in, in, uh, in today's society. Hey, man, we appreciate you. You appreciate John Starks, you. dog. You, you legend, man. Yeah, thank you. Hollow legend up in there, <laughs> man. Yo, man, if, if, if I could borrow a pair of tickets, I'm trying. I got this new girl. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I know you work in the office if you... <laughs> You get a nigga on the list, it don't even have to be no good tickets. <laughs> all up top. Yeah, you can have me all up top. She just wanna you go. You want the camera to pay. Don't, don't please. <laughs> you know when they were playing hey. all up. Yeah. No, it's not me. I am not me. When uh, Nick just played uh, 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 the Cavs just uh -huh. recently, right? Tony Yayo, he was on the floor on third row, and I'm all the way in the nosebleed section and whatnot. Uh -huh. And people were like, won't you hit Tony Yayo, man? How you how you get all the way down there? You all the way up here? Ain't both y'all in G unit? Yeah. And I was like, no, he in G unit. I'm in thisisvisit.com. 
I know that's right. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, if you get a chance, let, no, let your dog sure, borrow some sure. tickets. I got you. I got I'll get them back to you as soon you as I get on my feet. I you got know. you. Word. Next year, for sure. There it is. I got you coming. Well, like I always say, you just can't say you really something. You got to be John Starks. Will, when we out of here, man. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. It came to me like a song I wrote. Told the bitch, give me a scarf, pillowcase, and rope. Got dressed quick, tied the scarf around my face. Broke the bitch up, gagged the mouth with the pillowcase, played the cut. Nigga coming on some love close and shit. Flash